What's going on everybody? KSA Chris, Real Estate Blitz. Good to see you. Uh, real quick, wanted to go over something that I've been using for a couple years now and I get asked a lot of questions. So uh, for the agents that are listening to the gurus, they're cold calling, they're doing a lot of expired listings, things like that. Um, we built our business off of working expired listings and cold calling. We still do do it. Uh, it still brings in a lot of business for us. And, you know, I think um, there's a couple different reasons why we're successful at it. And I'll talk about that. But I, uh, the big one is I want to talk about systems. Uh, we personally, uh, I personally, use Red X. Now, there's a lot of other systems that are out there. I, I, I hear about quite a few of them. I'm told often, Red X sucks. And, you know, there's a better system. And here's the thing. I'm sure there is. Uh, I, I don't doubt that. There's always something better. There's always something newer. There's always better bells and whistles. But I guess my personal opinion has always been uh, whatever system when it comes to an online tool or tools in general, if you actually use it and you maximize it, they're all great tools. Uh, I, I see a lot of people that, that pay into tools and they don't really maximize or use them well. And then they go, well, this sucks. Cold calling sucks. Um, it's, not, it's not the system. Cold calling doesn't suck. It's just if I were to be blunt, you suck. Uh, that's just my opinion. So, cold calling expires and how we do it. I think the first thing that, that we always focus on is we try to come from a place of, of our heart, what we truly believe. When I'm calling people that, are, uh, that, that have a listing that's expired or they're for sale by owner or something along that lines, um, I'm calling them from a place of, A, I know that they want to sell. B, something went wrong or could have went wrong. Uh, with their um, last agent or just their home in general, whatever it is. It could be price. It could be marketing. Who knows what it is. But something went wrong and their house didn't sell. And then the very last thing is, because I know they want to sell and something went wrong, I believe we're able to provide something that a lot of people can't and I believe we can sell the house. Um, so I'm calling them to basically ask them, are you looking to interview somebody? Because if you are, we just want to show you what we think we could do to get your place sold. Um, that's kind of the approach that we take when it comes to cold calling expires. Uh, I, I think it's one of great, uh, of, of great use. And we try to keep it simple. When I'm calling somebody, I treat it just like I'm calling my mother or my father or a family member. I don't call... Uh, I know a lot of people use a lot of in-depth scripts. When I first started, I used scripts. I have my own script, I guess you could say, that I use myself, but it's really not a script. I'm looking to keep it simple. I'm looking to ask for an opportunity to interview, and I'm looking for an opportunity to just talk to them like human beings. Uh, if they present something to me, like, well, we are looking to sell, here's our problems, I'm just going to talk to them. And, and I deeply believe, because of the expertise and experience that I have, if I can't talk to whatever their challenge is or what they want to talk about, maybe I'm not the right person for them to begin with. Running through a script for me, it just isn't, isn't my thing. So let's talk about Red X, which is what this video is really about. Um, we started using Red X about two years ago. And personally, I'm, I'm a fan. I like Red X. And like I said, there's other systems. So uh, the reason why I've stayed with Red X it's, it's pretty simple. It's a pretty simple system. It brings up the information. I'm able to refresh it. I'm able to adjust it quickly. The filters are pretty, uh, pretty well done. What I've heard the challenges with Red X are, are that the, the phone numbers aren't all that qualified. And my thing is, uh, you know, it's at the end of the day, we're just, it's a shot in the dark. We're just calling around to people. Uh, I've ended up getting other opportunities to list or work with buyers because I didn't call the right number. Um, you know, so for me, I'm just calling. If I get the number, great. If I don't, then it just is what it is. Uh, I like how intuitive it is. I like the fact that Red X is um, kind of an a la carte solution because some some months, you know, I may want to call for sale by owner. Some months I don't. Sometimes I might want to do circle prospecting. Sometimes I don't. And I don't want to have to pay for things that I don't want to do that month. So it's kind of easy because I just call them. Uh, I'm like, you know, this month I'm not doing circle prospecting, I'm doing something else. I just call Red X and say, hey, do me a favor, turn that off. Um, I kind of recently went into this thing where I'm not really a fan of calling uh, uh, people that have properties that are going into foreclosure. I know a lot of people like that along with investors. It's just something that I personally have decided to get away from. Uh, but if I wanted to, all I need to do is call them up on the phone and on the spot they're going to set it up and then I pay for that service. A lot of other systems that I've looked at or researched uh, or, or used, I've used a couple other systems, it's, it's just this is the solution, this is what you're paying per month and it's, it's not cheap. 
and then whether you use it or not use it, you're still paying for it and they're going to charge you for it. So personally, I, I like Red X for that solution. I'm able to just pay for what I want. Um, if you're looking for a cold call solution, I would highly recommend Red X. If you're looking for information on how to do cold calls, I would highly recommend you could jump right on YouTube. YouTube has a lot of great videos. I don't think you should use them as the end all be all. What I tell people, uh, especially the, the people on my uh, on our team, excuse me, that are looking to get into cold calling, uh, first off, you got to know who you are. You need to know in, in your internally what you're about, what you're trying to accomplish, who you are, and you need to build your script around that. I think a lot of people go wrong when they watch YouTube videos or they get this new guru program that has all these scripts and they just like become robotic on it. If it goes against your personality style, I wouldn't recommend doing it. Example, I have a, a, a wonderful lady on our team. She is a very social individual. She's more of a social conscious, the way she's built. But she started working with scripts that were really functional for driver-based personalities. And she's not a driver, not even sort of close to a driver. So she's jumping on there and just trying to hammer through it, but she doesn't. This is what I tell everybody. Whatever you're feeling in, inside of you, conveys over the phone. So if you're anxious, it's going to convey over the phone. If you're not confident, it's going to convey over the phone. If you're angry, it's going to convey over the phone and people aren't going to connect with you. They don't have your facial. They don't have your body language. They don't have, you don't have the ability to kind of read them and, and reach in and reach out of what's going on as you two interact. All you have is the phone. You have their voice and, and you have yours. So when I'm not doing so well, I take, I take, you know, this is what's going on inside of me. This is how I'm feeling. I stand up, I change my attitude, and I get right back to making calls. So I think if you're just taking scripts that are not based on your style and who you are, then you're basically doing yourself a disservice. Um, I think it's good to look at scripts and de develop and design your own. I think it's good to listen to a lot of videos and watch people how they do cold calls. I think it gives you a little more experience, but you can't take that as doctrine if that's not the way you're you know, designed or built. Um, that's my opinion. I want to make sure I always try to keep these under 10. So if you have any other questions on cold calling or systems, like I said, I highly recommend Red X. Um, but if you have questions on other systems, I could help you out. I know Vulcan 7 is really big. I've done a ton of research and I know a lot of people that do use it to success. Um, if you have questions on cold calling in general and the success that we've had, you know, hit me up. Write it in one of the comments. You can hit me up on YouTube. You can find me on Facebook and also Instagram. So thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate it. KSA Chris here with the Real Estate Blitz. And I look forward to talking to you again here very, very soon. Have a good one.